Unique Arabia 2 is all about the most unique show we think we can um, bring about. Showing uh, Arabian fashion and Arabic fashion and garments in a really unique way and expressing kind of the uniqueness. You know the word unique means, you know, one-off, unusual, different. That the Middle East and Arabic fashion, Arabic clothing is just as unique as anything else. I wanted to bring in music and dance and entertainment. But this was the most important thing, that everything around the show is unique because this is the, this is the brand. This is going to work really well. Sure. Yeah, I mean, we have the different looks from the standard look for everybody else, but yeah. I think we need you like this. <laughs> let's uh, okay. let's go get your uh, makeup. Okay. Let's get your makeup. So we start the day, we message all the groups. We make sure that everybody is organized and set and ready. So yeah, early in the morning, Matty and I are already coordinating, checking everything sorted, making sure everybody's got what they need, heading every, every different section of the day. There's a number of reminders, a number of um, uh, activities and calls happening by myself and Sarah and other people involved as well. And then at 2 p.m. we started with, well 2 p.m. in the afternoon, we started with hair and makeup preparations. So I met all the models in the salon, I got myself done as well. We were at Ricky Capricci Hair Salon and uh, Nassanda Joel. Everyone was early. I, it was fantastic. I, I'm really happy with this. So we saw the designers, the dresses, Fashion designers are very good in the time, in the 70s, in the 80s, in the 80s. So, we have a lot of time with the Asri. So, if we go to the 80s, we go to the 80s. Also, with the trend, a little look trendy, with the Asri. And some of the designers are trying to be a little bit more funky hair, ponytail, wavy. أكثر الفساتين كان فيها شغل وجمال الفستان ما بدنا شغل شعر يطغي على الفستان. So we're here for the first part of the day in Maison de Joël, where we have some wonderful hair and makeup artists. طبعاً علشان اللوك يكمل لازم قبل يكون عندك استفتاء تسأل طبيعة الفاشن شنو راح يكون شنو راح تلبس العارضة على هاي الأساس أنت تسوي إثناء تجهز نفسك علشان تختار الألوان الصح الطريقة الصح اللي تطلع فيها الموديل very professional على الستيج تمتنا أن يكون naturals أن يناسب أي فستان راح تلبس الموديل أي ديزاين اللوك النور الألوان النورمال سوفت سموكي لوك عشان تطلع العارضة بارزة على الستيج وتناسب كل فستان راح تلبسه كنا نحن والتيم ناسقين مع الميك اب بالوقت اللي كانوا عم يعملوا فيه ميك اب نحن كنا عم نعمل شعر والعكس تمام سو so كانت كثير مهضومة وكانت اكسبيرينس كثير حلوة لأنه كان كل الفريق تناغم مع بعضه أول تجربة حقي حق فاشن شو كانت وايد حلوة وايد مريحة خلصنا on time العارضات جدا متعاونين طرح للإضافة أنهم جدا بروفيشنال وجميلات كل واحدة كانت مستمتعة It was relaxed, we were enjoying it We were looking at each other's um, styles and what could work So we, we built in some time to enjoy the day as well This is really important And if you don't plan in advance before the day happens itself you will have chaos and the show will not run properly. Gallery 21 was, is, I think, the best location we could have had for this particular show. It was stunning. Chandeliers, high ceilings, the acoustics are fantastic. The venue itself is fashionable. The venue itself, it wants for a fashion show, you know, this kind of a thing. Uh, it's, it's just a beautiful place. Um, this is just to show you the whole thing. I want you to understand from the, the, the audience's perspective. Okay, so in here, you can see we've got the red carpet. People will queue here to be checked in and we'll play there. This board is deliberately there for people to take photographs, selfies, whatever they want against the brand. So hopefully we can get some nice Instagram and photographs that come after the event. We're ready, eight o'clock, 10 past eight. People will start coming through. Regini. 
I said don't go anywhere. We've sat in the briefing. Okay, no worries. <laughs> but this is where we showcase here, there's a branding for Matabi models as well. When people come through, they're likely going to the bar area next. So I'll take you there now. Okay, people will come in at eight. They'll be here until about 9.30 before we actually start doing anything. Clearly before this, the DJ will be playing some music. I also have some models that are arriving on model tables. You're more than welcome to come out here, obviously with some of the people and hang out. At the end of the show, you'll all come back out um, and do a final walk. This is where I need Sarah to just work with you and make sure everybody understands the exact. If you can stay later, then fantastic, um, because we want to make the most of, of this night. This whole event is, uh, this is, this is funded and, and produced by myself on Gallery 21. So the more people, the better. For me, it's about branding, it's about an event. It's amazing from this perspective. So this is the overall idea of the night. We've got Utrecht TV here, who are filming a documentary. I'm wired up here. Everything I'm saying is going through to this documentary. It'll be edited as appropriate. Certain things will be edited out, so don't worry. Because <laughs> <laughs> I was like, where's Virginie? I was shouting. So, Sometimes you need to pee, you know? It's yeah, like human yeah. stuff. So she, she was going for a pee. Delete the comments. <laughs> <laughs> Take the opportunity to get the exposure. It's huge. Okay? So now we're gonna go backstage and just go through the runway. So my program was uh, from beginning. I play uh, very classical music. Uh, this uh, music suitable of the place when I played it because uh, we can see it's like gallery. So classical music, uh, I think very suitable for this uh, place.
Okay, uh, well this time around I got to work with uh, fi uh, five, yeah, five lovely models. We had Virginie, who's one of, I think the only French model in Bahrain, who's just gorgeous, you'll love her. She's just amazing. And we had Eliazi, a lovely Arabic, well, Bahraini girl. Anna, who's an amazing Russian influencer. We've, she's just joined the agency and we're really glad to have her. We had uh, Lina, also, also a Russian model, who's stunning. She's been in Bahrain for a while, modeling, very successful. And we had Maureen, who's a new Kenyan woman, just come to Bahrain, just started the modeling scene. And she's actually been exclusively runway with us since she started. Working with all of them has been really good. I've been really privileged this time around. They're a really, really great team. My preparation was really to sleep a lot before and to eat a lot and to drink a lot of water. Of course, we have to be quick. Of course, we have to be focused. Uh, but that was good because we were surrounded by a good team. So we have amazingly beautiful models. Some are thin, some are shapely, some are tall, some are shorter. This is fine. This is what people want to see. And this is what I've learned over our last, oh, I guess in the last year, we've run 14, 15 fashion shows. So we definitely wanted to do this for Unique Arabia. Uh, well, in this one, in Unique Arabia 2, we had Eski, we had Bestia, and we had Monk and May. The designs that they brought about, fantastic. The inspiration behind my brand is my country, or overall Africa, I would say. I'm always as well uh, taken with the fashion of the Middle East, so I love mixing the Africa and Middle East together. Eski is fabulous. <laughs> She's full of full of character and always I mean she always gets a really really good response from the crowd because she does things that are unorthodox and crazy and over the top and in that it's just wonderful. And a lot of the designs for example from Eski were designed in the run-up in the days before the show and so impressed with what we saw on the runway. Whenever I create something I want to do a one-off a unique experience you will always stand out that again goes back to the concept you will always have a unique style that you will not find elsewhere elsewhere they steer does fusion they, they mix culture and you can really see that in their designs but at the same time it's really there's a classic feel to everything that they bring to bring to fashion but also bring to the runway you know it always feels elegant and classic and timeless which is really lovely our creation is everything it's it's defined our women are ageless timeless and the elegancy we would like to present all our design over there at least in one ramp they can see so many patterns so it's it's matters how they gonna carry it how they gonna present on the ramp monk and maid was my first time working with them they were also stunning also timeless and elegant but also you know light and relaxed, you know, very kind of uh, comfortable and and feminine feel to their clothing, which is also lovely. So we had the ghagra and choli with dupatta. We had long dresses. We had jumpsuits. So we had given a variety of clothes so that at least people are people get to know about what kind of things we deal with. It is covering the whole site a kind of season, even for the summer, even for the winter even for all the occasions. It's not stuck on the only simple kind of thing. Like we, can, we have a variety of styles and every season we change the style. Each designer has his really own special style. Like you can recognize a dress and say, this is from uh, Eski or this is from Monk and May. So that was special. Like each designer had his own signature, his own style. Uh, so everything was prepared to make everything easier and it works. And then it was done, the show ended and it was just a huge relief and just excitement and real joy. You know, it was over, it ended well, everybody was excited, everybody was happy, it kind of feels surreal. Team work event event, professional, 
المعارضات تكونون بيرفكت فيس علشان نطلع احنا شغلنا I have personally not seen the video yet because I was backstage. But yeah, whatever I heard from my friends, my husband and everybody, they were like, the kind of stuff was there. It was looking very glamorous on the show. It's very pleasure to be part of this event. And this event, it's very well organized. Uh, I believe there is more opportunity. So I think everyone was uh, winning. I'm, I'm grateful they have given me the opportunity and I look forward to work with them again. And thank you, Unicaribia. We've, we've reached another level of kind of professionalism and smoothness. You know, we're a well-oiled machine now. It all really works smoothly, well. We understand each other's cues. So that was really good. I'll just say a big thanks to everybody involved in, in the show. You know, gratitude is, is what I'm all about. You have to... You have to have this in life. And I'm very grateful um, for the, no lie, around 39 different people on different WhatsApp groups on that day. Um, it's just a big thank you from me to every single person involved in the show.